As you probably already know, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's gonna spray ass all over the place this December, mainly because the game has more bells and whistles present than that time I got caught stealing bull milk for my family. But despite how much gold the game provides, there's still a sizable group of people out there who are only focusing on the minor areas that could have been improved upon. And I've already made a video about why I think people should focus on the positives, instead of which characters only ended up as assist trophies, which most people seem to agree with me on. However, the Waluigi fanbase is still outraged at the absence of their favorite purple sports star, and insists that the character's more than just a meme, and every bit is deserving of a spot on the main roster as many other characters. But if you ask my skinny fat ass, I think they should look on the bright side, cause all things considered, I think there's some good reasons as to why Waluigi only ended up as an assist trophy. So sit back, relax, enjoy a nice warm can of Carbomod energy soda, and allow me, the most famous man in my half of the apartment, Cameron, to explain why Waluigi isn't fully playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> Before I begin, let me clarify that the purpose of this video isn't why I think Waluigi shouldn't be in Smash Ultimate, because I'm all for him and pretty much any other notable video game character being fully playable. It's just that, all things considered, I think being an assist trophy makes the most sense. So based on my encounter with an anonymous source at Nintendo who only wished to be identified as M. Sakurai, I'm gonna talk about the reasons why I don't think Waluigi made the cut, with the first being that given the game's development time, it just made more sense to direct the focus into the gameplay rather than giving us more of what we already had plenty of to begin with. I mean, focusing on adding more characters to Smash above everything else it'd be like giving Jeff Bezos more money in Bezos, instead of giving him a nice warm glass of Carbomud energy soda, now with 12% more bull milk. And most of the complaints for Smash 4 had nothing to do with a lack of characters, because there was an ass load of them. So for Ultimate, why not improve the weaknesses of the gameplay instead of strengthening the strengths by adding way more fighters? Especially when there's not much time to develop the damn thing. And since the game doesn't really need more fighters, and that Sakurai straight up told us there wouldn't be many newcomers, it stands to reason that any new fighters we do end up getting have to be a big deal. So with that in mind, I'm sorry, but Waluigi just isn't as impactful or deserving as Inklings, Ridley, Simon, Belmont, or King K. Rule. Nor should he replace any of the characters that are being brought back from the past, seeing as how they defeat the entire purpose of, you know, bringing everybody back. But don't put bananas in my tailpipe down in the comments just yet, though, and hear me out. Because the Smash Bros. games are kind of supposed to be like a Nintendo Hall of Fame, then Waluigi definitely deserves to be included over a guy like Snake, who was too cool to have his games be seen on Nintendo consoles, even after he was added to Brawl. Or Cloud, who's never appeared on a Nintendo platform at all outside of the Chinese bootleg of Final Fantasy VII on the NES. Wow, I didn't even do anything! However, third-party characters being included aren't necessarily meant to please hardcore or competitive fans. They're here to give Smash Bros. more of a wow factor, and ideally bring fans of other franchises over. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there who don't play Smash Bros. And I'd bet my left ass that including third-party characters has brought new players of the series, and will probably do so more now than ever before with the Switch being as big of a deal as it is. I'd bet Nintendo doesn't even have to pay for these characters to be included, since simply being in Smash Bros. can do a lot for a franchise. I mean, third parties would have to be stupid not to want their characters in Smash, just like Endog would have to be stupid to not prioritize such characters should the opportunity arise to include them, because doing so is win-win for everybody involved from Nintendo to third parties and to the fans. Well, except for fans of Waluigi anyway, because third-party characters being offered to be put into the game just means that he's gonna have to be put on the back burner. But Waluigi fans aren't necessarily Smash Bros. is prioritizing, because I highly doubt there's very many people from that fan base who aren't already gonna buy Smash Ultimate anyway, which sounds like a dick move for Sakurai to cater to noobs instead of longtime fans. But business is business, so unfortunately for some, this puts Waluigi on the waiting list since he's not exactly as high of a priority as even Bomberman or Shovel Knight, and even more so for a big name like Simon Belmont, who's far more likely to bring extra eyeballs to the series than Wario's maybe brother. And even though most Splatoon fans probably also play Smash, I'd still argue there's a good chunk of that fan base who might not. And those people just might be an ass here more inclined to check Ultimate out due to the Inkling's inclusion. And besides, while Splatoon might not be as well known or loved as Wario, it's still more than big enough to the point where it'd just be weird for Ultimate to snub in favor of Waluigi. And sure, King K. Rool might not bring new fans to the series either, and he isn't as well known now as he once was, seeing as how he hasn't appeared in a game in over 73 years. But absence makes the heart grow fonder, and King K. Rool's been the main villain to literally some of the greatest games of all time. So for those two reasons, he's just more impactful than Waluigi. But for the hardcore fans who feel like Sakurai isn't listening to his fan base, then just remember we are getting Ridley, and seeing as always a popular villain from a franchise that's underrepresented in Smash, he really does have to get the nod over the buddy of a secondary character from a spin-off franchise. <laughs> And I'm sure there's people out there, while they admit Waluigi isn't as important as any of the four new characters, they still think he also should have been included. But the fact that we're only getting four new characters tells me that four is all the Smash team had time for. And if we get more characters added before the game comes out, then if they're not Waluigi, then they're also gonna be fighters who are gonna make a bigger splash. But hold on, don't leave threats of poop on my stoop in the comments just yet. Cause I do agree that Waluigi would sure as hell bring a lot more to the table than Daisy and some of the other Echo Fighters. But Echo Fighters are just glorified palette swaps that only take like seven minutes of work to add to the game. Whereas Waluigi would pretty much have to be created 
from the ground up. I know he's already an assist trophy, so the foundation might be there, but it's still a lot more work than swapping pallets. And unfortunately, there's nobody for Waluigi to echo. But again, from the time the last batch of DLC came out for Smash 4 until December 2018, there really hasn't been that much time to work on the new game. And I'm sure if Smash Ultimate even had just one more year, then we'd probably see some new low-key characters that aren't meant to be a huge deal like we always have in the past. But if there's only enough time to add a handful of new characters in a game as highly anticipated as this, then it really is better for them to be main event caliber home runs. And I don't think it's worth delaying the game over to add characters that are a little more obscure. But while Luigi's a lot cooler than some of the characters who were just returning for the sake of having everybody in the game, so I do understand the frustration there. But even though some of these returning characters probably had to be remade from the ground up anyway, remaking them had to have been a lot less time consuming since they already had established movesets. And if Sakurai wants to make everybody happy, then including every fighter from the past is the bare minimum. Because even leaving Pichu out would have caused people who I'm sure are going to reveal themselves in the comments below to bury the game. And it does seem like for the most part, everybody's more or less happy. But I think the Sackman was somewhat surprised to see how much people care that Waluigi was only an assist trophy since people didn't even choose him for Mario Kart 8 that often. And while I still think that a lot of the people who were upset at Waluigi not being a playable character are just people who weren't going to buy the game anyway and only wanted their fourth or fifth favorite meme to be added to a video game, there are a lot of Smash fans out there who genuinely wanted the character to be in the game to the point where it's their one big gripe with Smash Ultimate, which honestly even surprised me. And I suppose it's possible for Sakurai to rework everything just to include Waluigi thanks to all the harassment via Twitter, since he does seem to want to make a game that nobody could find a reason to complain about, even though that's impossible. But no matter how many yellow chairs he shows in the upcoming directs, I wouldn't bet on Waluigi being reworked into the game, because it's just not necessary to make the best Smash Bros game ever. I mean, you can't even prefer another game in the series based on Waluigi's absence since that complaint also applies to every other game in the series. So even though it's possible and it would be pretty cool to see Sakurai give people what they wanted to leave no stone unturned, it's just not worth the headache of squeezing a character into the game with only a few months of development left, since there's always missing characters that people are going to want added to the game, especially if that character's inclusion wouldn't make the game sell any better than it already would anyway. And if the goal for every Smash game is to make it the best in the series, then leaving Waluigi out now makes it easier to accomplish that for the next game anyway, since Ultimate already seems to have surpassed its predecessors. I mean, Melee might still be everybody's favorite in the end, but either way, I doubt Waluigi's gonna be the difference maker in that discussion. Waluigi's best shot at getting into Smash Ultimate would probably be via DLC down the line, but even then, it'd just be weird to have an assist trophy who's also a fully playable character at the same time. So anyway, I look at it, I really don't see Wario's bud making it into the game. And given the reasons mentioned, I don't think he should have been either, since he's not a bigger deal than any of the four characters we are getting, and probably won't be a bigger deal than any of the new characters we might get before December. And I think we should just be happy that he's an assist trophy, because that's really not a bad thing at all given how popular the other assists are. And I'm sure Sakurai's gonna make sure Waluigi's fully playable in the next game, now that fans have just assumed he'd be in the game, came out of the woodwork after his exclusion just to show Saki how big the Waluigi fanbase really is. Well, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> so due to Sakurai understandably underestimating Waluigi's genuine popularity outside of meme culture, it makes sense why more popular characters are prioritized. And given how little time the gang had to make what's supposed to be the best game in the series, I think it's completely reasonable that Waluigi and every other popular assist trophy didn't make it into the game. So let Sakurai take a nap and let's just enjoy Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for what it is. Because it's just way more fun to focus on the positives rather than to nitpick the few negatives. Especially for a series like Smash Bros. since there's always going to be more that could be added anyway. But if Waluigi doesn't make it into the next game, then you should poop all over Sakurai's Twitter feed since he'd be a dick to ignore you guys at this point. What do you think though? Is it reasonable that Waluigi didn't make the cut? Or do you think Smash Ultimate's absolute unplayable trash for excluding him or any other characters? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, I'll pin whatever I find most entertaining. Thanks to everybody who supports this channel on Patreon from the bottom of my ass. And if you're a super awesome, mega badass, and cool sexy beast, then press the subscribe button if you haven't already. My name's Cameron, and I'll see you next time. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support.